what blows my mind is the fact that she's like that she thinks that calling people names and slut shaming people and like saying all these absolutely horrible things about people makes her a better person than someone that shares their goods like i don't know i'd rather share my share my goods all over social media than be a really mean person like i'd i'd be classified as a hoe anytime over being a bully i don't know guys maybe that's just me um i've got a big heart like i am hardly ever responding to hate comments i hardly ever like you know interact with people who throw shade and who throw hate like i'm usually always the better person and i walk away and i'm like okay cool you know it's your opinion but something just told me today this woman like she needs help like she needs help she is so cruel and she's like shaming all these girls on her instagram like publicly i at least had the decency to send her a message and told her like i get that this is your opinion but you are a creator yourself and not only she's like women are worth more but in that same breath that she's saying that she's calling them like hoes and sluts and all those horrible horrible words like it's just a it blows my mind that someone can be so righteous because I believe in God, but I say things like that to other women. I break other women down like that. It's like, you know, like I never react to anything. I promise you, like I ne when people send hate comments, I usually literally just ignore it. That has been my response to it for the past four years. I've done only fans like I don't react to it. But today something just woke up inside of me and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to tell this woman straight because who the f is she to tell anyone they are empty-minded and hoes and all these things like oh and i told her like, I, like <laughs> when i left the conversation i was like i'm gonna let you believe what you want to believe now you know i'm gonna go hoeing around in my room with my toys and i'm gonna film it and you're welcome to subscribe like that was my like that was my go you know like Oh, it just it just wakes me up inside all the hate, you know, it just riles me up. Hi spicy rice, hi ravens. I'm actually really not usually a person that likes conflict or confronting or anything to do with that. But you know, something something today just made me feel like, you know what? I am not letting this woman like break my friends down. Cause that's like like to me OnlyFans is a choice. I have other choices. I have loads of other choices. I'm studying at the moment. I have a good life. Like, my hubby has a job. It's not, like, me starting, oh, I can quit at any time, but I, I'm choosing to do OF. I enjoy it. But there are people out there, like, there are women out there who has the opposite, like, who really can't help what they're doing, who are stuck, who can't get a job. I don't know, you know, like, a lot of people who live in South Africa know how hard it is, you know? Like, I'm not one of them. Like, I'm choosing OF. Like, it's a choice I made. I left my job for OF. <laughs> but her saying these things, imagine how the women feel who don't have a choice, you know? Like, I embrace my hoe. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> but um, there are women out there who really struggles with this, and now she's going around, you know, saying all these horrible things, saying all these just trying to justify that she found god now she has the right to judge everyone else like it just makes me laugh you know christianity christianity is so hilarious sometimes like they think because you know they found god they have the right to tell other people their shit and to judge even though in the bible the first freaking book says no judging my brie jafar thank you wilson thank you for the follow Mems, I do have the best goodies. I embrace them. That is why I do OF. Like, I'm so open about it. And I, I, I truly enjoy doing OnlyFans. It's not just a job for me. It's something I actually enjoy. I love taking photos of myself. I love taking content. I love interacting with people. I love going live. Like, it's something I enjoy. Like, I chose this line of work. But I, what I kept telling is that people, there's people who hasn't. There's people who's stuck and they're just trying to make a living. And she's going around calling them these horrible things. Ricky, I'm not an atheist. That's the thing. I'm not. I believe there's a God. I just don't do religion. I don't. I'm not going to answer to a book that were written by other people to um, 
to just control them because that's basically what it's about you know I've done lots of studies towards it you know like I don't know like that's just my obviously my opinion like like I don't judge anyone who is religious because you know it's their way of life like good on them they they need something more you know they need that book they like it's good for them you know I've never judged anyone on any religion like it's their choice but then you get the religious people like who judge everyone else you know like (laughs) that like it's just so contradicting it blows my mind that someone who believes in gods and christianity can say that oh no they're a good person but they go around literally bullying and harassing people it's just i don't know it blows my mind hi russell hi nobody thank you for the roses thank you i appreciate it Sinomir, thank you for the follow. Hi, Shoy. Exactly. I would always, 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 always respect everyone's beliefs and religions. Like, I've always been that type of person to be like, you know, maybe you do you. Like, do what makes you happy. Like, there's no... (laughs) I don't know. But then you get the people who are really, like, believing in God and who are really Christians who actually, like, go out of their way to make other people feel bad about themselves. I absolutely hate that. I have family that is like that, that, you know, goes around talking bad about you, like, telling everyone you're this horrible person, like, going out of their way to make you feel insecure and uncomfortable, calling you names. Like, I have people like that in my life. It's just... It's so sad to think that people are like this and then still in that same breath says, I believe in God and I'm just trying to help you. And it literally blows my mind. Hello, Mango. Ricky, thank you. Thank you so much. I try and be. That's my that's my like motto in life. Just be nice. It's not what what does being nice do to you? You know, I'm not going to go someone that has. I'm not going to go offend someone or go attack someone on their life choices. Life is hard enough for some random ass 20 year old chick to go around like slut shaming you and like trying to make every OnlyFans girl this horrible person who, you know. Mango. It is none of my, like, my opinion is it's none of my business what you believe or not. Even if you fucking believe chicken grows on trees. It is your choice to believe that. It is your beliefs. I don't, I don't give a fuck. So who believes what, you know, like, at the end of the day, that is not going to define you as a person. What's going to define you as a person is being kind and loving and compassionate to other people. Like, someone can believe fucking... I don't know, can worship a worm, I would still respect them as a person because that's not going to define them, you know? Like, what defines you is your ability to be a kind, loving, caring person. That is that is what defines you. Like, that. Uh, that's just my opinion, guys. Like, that's just my opinion. Hi, Mickey. Sorry, my mind is just flabbergasted. Like, I'm like... I, I never do hate. I'm telling you, I absolutely never do hate. But waking up today getting those stories from a fellow of creator so she says like it just it makes me so sad to think that people can be so cruel and so mean like what do they get out of it but embarrassing themselves and showing the whole world who they really are because that's the only thing she did like she posted all these shit on her story and i'm like the only thing she's doing is making people see that she is a bully and a mean person like it's not even like there's no justifying it she can't even like i don't know <laughs> hide the dark knight hi jud sab mickey i try i try i feel like that's my goal in life to be kind and to be nice the dark knight i'm not gonna name any names you know uh i'm not gonna name any names today um she had, has deleted her story since after i told her like after I told her, oh my gosh, girl, like, what makes you any different? She does exactly the same thing. She's just recently found God and she's gonna stop. That's her words. <laughs> hey, Bruce. 